from a truly wireless TV to a wireless TV that still needs one pesky power cable, here are all the interesting displays I saw at CES 2023. Let's start with OLED. LG unveiled its 4K flagship G3 Gallery series, and the big news is that the 55, 65, and 77 inch models will be using MLA or Micro Lens Array technology, which promises to be 70% brighter full screen than conventional OLEDs. Although the South Korean brand was reluctant to admit to using MLA technology, another manufacturer who is more upfront about adopting MLA OLED panel was Panasonic, who launched its MZ2000 flagship 4K OLED, which exceeded 1500 nits on a 10% window after calibration to D65 white point. When I measured a development stage sample at Panasonic's headquarters in Osaka, Japan. Note that only the 55 and 65 inch MZ2000 will get the MLA panel, whereas the largest 77 inch version won't. So, if you want a 77 inch OLED with the brighter MLA panel, the LG G3 is your only choice, at least until another manufacturer announces an MLA flagship OLED later in the year. On the theme of 77 inch OLEDs, Samsung Visual Display took the wraps of its first 77-inch QD OLED TVs in the shape of the S95C, which comes with an external One Connect box, as well as the step-down S90C without One Connect box. At a CES private briefing where no photos and videos were allowed, the company revealed a new HDR tone mapping setting which will let users disable dynamic tone mapping to more faithfully reproduce the creative intent when watching HDR10 content. Of course, the 77-inch QD OLED panel on the S95C and S90C came from Samsung Display who, besides introducing a larger screen size, also implemented a number of improvements on its second-generation QD OLED displays. Dubbed QD OLED 2023. 1. Both color luminance and white luminance have increased, the latter measuring 1300 nits on a 10% window after calibration to D65 white point. 2. The new panel has been rated twice as durable as 2022 QD OLED panels. And 3. The new QD OLED panel consumes less power too with EEI or Energy Efficiency Index dropping from 1.1 to 0.9. Samsung Display said that these improvements have been made possible by a breakthrough, hyper-efficient blue electroluminescent layer, and to demonstrate, the South Korean panel supplier put the old and the new blue EL side by side under the microscope for visitors to see, and the new blue EL certainly appeared noticeably brighter. Another interesting demonstration at Samsung Display's CES private booth involved a Sony A7S III camera filming three valves of brightly saturated quantum dots. The QD OLED was unsurprisingly able to render the colors on screen in a manner that came closer to matching the actual colors of the quantum dot valves. Although it must be pointed out that real-life viewing material, even in HDR, seldom reach this degree of color saturation and brightness especially when many HDR titles are graded at such a conservative level these days. Nevertheless, given QD OLED's innate advantages and the upgrades brought forth this year, Samsung Display's 2023 QD OLED panel wins our Best of CES 2023 award in the TV category. Now, if you are pining after even larger TVs with even brighter full-screen luminance, then you will be pleased to know that the mini LED flag continues to be flown high by Hisense, TCL, and Samsung Electronics themselves. Hisense launched its flagship 85 inch UX series of mini LED TV, featuring more than 5,000 local dimming zones, 2,500 nits of peak brightness, as well as integrated 4.1.2 Dolby Atmos speaker system with 80 watts of power. The good news for potential buyers in the UK and the rest of Europe this year is that Hisense has decided to finally unify its TV lineup globally for 2023, so British and European models should get the same VA type LCD panel and local dimming zone count as American versions, which have previously been superior in these areas. Unlike Hisense, TCL still seems to be assigning different model numbers for its US and European TVs and in North American markets, 
TCL's flagship 4K Mini LED TV is going to be the QM8 series with up to 2300 local dimming zones and roughly double the peak brightness of last year's TCL Mini LED TVs. Interestingly, at its CES press conference, TCL USA hinted at a version coming later this year with 5000 local dimming zones and 3000 nits of peak brightness, possibly under the same model number, which is as confusing as a no parking sign in a parking lot. At TCL's CES booth, there were also a couple of inkjet printed OLED prototypes, but I will cover them in a separate video if I find time. As for Samsung Electronics, the South Korean manufacturer still ranks its new QLED mini LED TVs above QD OLEDs, and the biggest upgrade this year is a substantial increase in the number of local dimming zones. Approximately double the zone count of last year's new QLEDs across different screen sizes and model ranges, contributing to higher contrast performance and less blooming artifacts. On the monitor front, we saw the first 27-inch OLED monitors with 1440p resolution and 240Hz refresh rate from LG Electronics and ASUS, with the ASUS PG27AQDM arguably having the slight upper hand in hardware thanks to the addition of a custom heatsink which, based on our previous testing, can clear away image retention faster than a conventional OLED without heatsink. Of course, both 27-inch OLED screens are supplied by LG Display, who have managed to implement its new meta technology even on these smaller OLED panels intended for the gaming monitor market. In case you don't already know, meta is a combination of MLA or microlens array and brightness-boosting algorithm to not only raise the light output without increasing the risk of OLED burn-in, but also widen the viewing angles courtesy of improved light scattering from MLA. And when you add true blacks, near instantaneous pixel response time, not to mention a more versatile 16:9 aspect ratio and flat screen form factor to the equation, LG Display's 27-inch 240Hz OLED panel with Meta technology deservedly earns our Best of CES 2023 award in the monitor category. Moving on to more aspirational displays, Samsung's top-tier micro-LED TVs obviously dazzle CES with their true blacks and class-leading full-screen brightness, this time even in smaller screen sizes of 50 and 63 inches, albeit at sub-4K resolution. On the show floor, however, Samsung's spokespeople were keen to stress that these smaller micro-LED displays were merely proof of concept to demonstrate the scalability of stunning picture quality whatever the screen size. With the cheapest, commercially available micro-LED TV still costing north of £50,000, let's turn our attention to TVs us mere mortals can at least contemplate being able to afford. One such television is the wireless OLED TV from Startup Displays, which uses four hot-swappable batteries to power the 55-inch WRGB OLED screen sourced from LG Display. It can be mounted to any flat surface using a proprietary active loop vacuum technology, for example, to the window at a Las Vegas hotel suite where media previews were held. While the stuttering frame rates on screen when displaying content from a remote-based unit could be blamed on overcrowded internet congestion during CES, the product was fairly rough around the ages, requiring new firmware uploads and several reboots when we attended a first-look demo session. Hopefully the kinks will be ironed out when the wireless TV starts shipping in December at a price of US$3,000 per unit. Another wireless TV that's far more polished and resembling of a finished product is LG's new 97-inch Signature OLED M series, which can wirelessly receive 4K 120Hz video and audio signals in a lossless format from a separate Zero Connect box that can be placed away from the TV to give owners greater flexibility in arranging their space without unsightly cables and source devices. Three HDMI 2.1 ports are provided on the Zero Connect box, which also carries a topside rotatable antenna to obtain maximum signal strength, together with an algorithm that can switch transmission paths upon detection of people and pets moving in the room to minimize signal disruption. 
The TV still needs one power cable connected to the screen, and so it's not completely wireless. But considering its well thought out features and breathtakingly beautiful picture quality stemming from OLED's self emissive goodness on a 97 inch panel, the LG Signature OLED M3 is the final recipient of our Best of CES 2023 award in the innovation category. At its bustling CES booth, LG Electronics also showcased its first transparent OLED TV prototype without specifying a launch date or pricing. Called the OLED T, the 55-inch OLED can turn transparent to reveal what's behind the screen, making it easy to blend in with your home decor. The transparent OLED sits on a wooden bench with LG Object branding, further reinforcing its lifestyle TV status. This video is sponsored by Box, the online technology store. Visit box.co.uk for the best deals on TVs, soundbars and all your other technology needs. Surprisingly, LG decided not to show its 4K flagship G3 OLED with 70% higher brightness at its CES booth. But fortunately, we managed to get a good first look behind closed doors elsewhere in a Las Vegas hotel suite, and you can watch our coverage video by clicking here.